you. Hello. Uh, wow. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, uh, Stake With Us and uh, Cosmos Singapore. Um, really great to be here. Um, one second. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to talk about the, the state of Cosmos, recent updates. Um, if you were at the, um, the conference earlier, uh, not a conference, but at the event, it's basically the same slide, so I'm going to go over it again. But if you have questions, um, we'll do a QA and a at the end. So please save those, or if it's burning, raise your hand and we'll get to it. Um, okay. This. All right. So we, okay, I think we all know this, or most of us probably know this material, but in case you don't, um, here's a brief history nice for scaling because you can have, um, uh, you know, in many blockchains um, secured by the same validator set or by different validator sets all communicating with each other um, and, and, and have, you know, a robust security across many chains is an IBC-like module that's designed to work with mainnet Ethereum. And once we have that, then you can even peg ERC-20 tokens and bring them into the Cosmos ecosystem. Where are we with that? Switch Labs is uh, implementing it. It says Ethermint theory, but that's wrong. We have a unidirectional version. Um, there's actually another team that developed uh, a similar thing, so there's actually two versions. But uh, anyways, the next step is to, ha is to run the testnet with this unidirectional PEGI. Um, so we can, we can, in other words, you can move your ERC20 tokens onto a smart contract, and then they will materialize on Cosmos, right? And then the next step is to implement the other way so you can actually withdraw your tokens, so you can move your Cosmos tokens back to, uh, to PEGI, and then get your ERC20 tokens back on the Ethereum mainnet. So that's going to happen, and once that's done, we're going to hopefully connect directly to Ethereum. What else? So that's connecting to Ethereum mainnet and, and pegging ERC20 tokens. But the other thing you can do in terms of bringing Ethereum onto the Cosmos ecosystem is actually run um, uh, EVM smart contracts. And you can do that by implementing, um, that's what Ethermint is about. Um, it's, it's also going to be uh, developed on the SDK. It is being developed on the SDK. Um, the point is to run Ethereum smart contracts on the SDK and to be as compatible as possible to, uh, with Ethereum. Um, 